This month we have many exciting announcements from Databricks. A lot of features mentioned at Data and AI Summit are now coming to life. Uh, first update is it is what you see on my screen. There is new UI. So when you go to previews, you can enable improved navigation and homepage. And after that, you can see that new colors. Uh, there, there have been a lot of uh, updates uh, to UI in recent months, but this is the first one concentrated on style sheet and colors. And another update is new LTS version. So when you go to create compute, you can see that there is version 15.4 and it's new LTS. So it's long time support. Uh, that version uh, includes a lot of uh, performance improvements, but one my favorite update is when you scroll down, you can see that there is enable uniform iceberg using alter tables. So that what that's mean? What does it mean? You can easy enable uniform for your existing table without recreating table. Alter table is enough. Uh, to enable uniform and then you can easily use uh, your uniform table automatically created from Delta, uh, for example, with other platforms like Snowflake. Uh, another update uh, is Lakehouse Feder related to Lakehouse Federation. Uh, when you go to connection, you can see that there is connection now to Salesforce Data Cloud and it is the first SaaS platform which is included in uh, Lakehouse Federation. You can use that to see your data in Salesforce for your ETL processes to consume that data, to query that data, or just use it to catalog your data of your organization because you bring it out the Lakehouse Federation. So you see this Inuity catalog and it's then it will be part of your catalog. Another exciting features which can bring big cost savings are new system tables. There is node timeline system table you, which you can see now and in that table which that table ha has uh, uh, granulated on minute level you can see percentage user usage of your driver and workers. Based on that, you can decide automatically uh, or later through dashboards and analysis uh, to downscaling your, for example, jobs or upscaling, because you also need to watch uh, if there is, is somewhere, for example, 100 percentage usage, it means that cluster needs upscaling. Uh, another uh, table is related to SQL Warehouse. It's a history table. Now you can see the, <coughs> the list of all queries in your SQL Warehouse. Uh, based, uh, based on that, you can, uh, you can make decisions, for example, uh, to also to upscale or downscale your uh, SQL Warehouse or, for example, analyze who is using it. Another exciting feature is new open source model, which, which has <coughs> great scores. The model is Meta Llama. There are two versions of it, and I really recommend recommend to use it. It it really it it uh, it is really great. Yes, and what you can see is that now it includes function calling. <coughs> so this is this Unity catalog function which you can embed in LLM and trigger custom action based, uh, based on some uh, behavior. There is no month about updates related to generative AI. So this is for this month. And another update is relating sharing data. You can now Delta share tables with primary keys, foreign keys, and also liquid clustering. But I think the most important is this primary and foreign key because you can you can share all your data model, yes, and someone is consuming and see all relation your data through uh, primary and foreign keys.
Another update is generally a little bit of serverless. So when you cre create new job, you can in compute just select serverless. And believe me, it's really great, especially for small tasks because the startup time is in uh, milliseconds and not in few minutes, yeah, like in nor for normal compute. So, so it also can generate really big cost savings, especially for that small tasks. You can use it for like for everything. Uh, I think it's a good approach is to compare the costs. So you need to remember that there is one version of serverless uh, only. So, so maybe when you need uh, like uh, uh, use a lot of libraries, uh, then it's it's better to use own cluster. But for small tasks, which for example do I have some small jobs which do manipulation on system tables, then that serverless is uh, is great option for that. And last update, but not least, is is Lakeflow Connect. So now like for Lakeflow uh, Connect is in gated public preview, so it's available only to selected customers. But generally, as you see on that screenshot, is it is a low code UI to ingest uh, to ingest data, uh, and it's uh, incorporating all best practices. It's using uh, out of the box change data feed to enable incremental processing of all data we just ingested using it to uh, to like house and. Uh, after that, it is, it is creating Delta Life tables. So for, there are first four connectors available now. Uh, I need to check the names. Uh, it is SQL Server, the on-prem SQL Server, Salesforce, and Workday Pipelines. What is interesting is that, uh, uh, that it's not just databases, but it's including uh, SaaS platforms. Uh, and there are announcements that soon there will be few, uh, few other ones. So uh, in coming weeks or months, the service now, Google Analytics, SharePoint, PostgreSQL will be, uh, will be also added there. So a lot of exciting announcements in recent weeks. I look forward for more data details about Lakeflow in the coming months. Uh, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please, please remember to subscribe to our channel. If you have any question, uh, leave them in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye.